Hello guys and welcome back. Today I have such an exciting new release to share with you guys. Married has come out with new lip products. These are the Signature Lip Matte and uh, they came out with eight colors. I have them all here. I'm gonna swatch them for you, put them on and kind of give you my thoughts on them. I'm just so excited about this. I've had these for quite some time now. I've been testing them out, wearing them and I am just in love. Now a huge thank you to Married for partnering with me again. I feel very honored and thankful to be able to work with them and share with you guys some of my favorite products. Now Married is known for that more minimalistic beauty with vegan, cruelty-free, non-comedogenic beauty products. Married also has their signature bag. It's this one right here. I love this one. When I travel, I put all my makeup in here. I mean, it holds a lot and there's just a lot of room in there. And the pa this past month when I went to Charleston, I fit all my makeup in here and then I had my brushes in something else. But with your first married order, you will get the signature back for free. Also orders over $40 ship free. You can also get up to a 15% discount on married sets. So go check out the discounted sets and my favorite products through my link down below. Okay, let's move on to the makeup. I have nothing on my face, absolutely nothing. I'm gonna quickly put a little bit on so we can move on to the lips. Uh, I'm using my great skin. Now this is one of my favorite products for Merit. You guys know already, this has four different types of hyaluronic acid. It has nice cinnamide. It's just such a nice moisturizing product. I use it almost like a primer before foundation because I really like the way the minimalist and the great skin work together. This is such a great combo but you can definitely use this in your skincare as well. Merit is just such a great way to get a simple, dewy, glowy look even during the colder winter months. I'm gonna use The Minimalist, which is their kind of foundation concealer. It's kind of whatever you want it to be. I have two colors here. I have Bisque and Linen, and you could even use this as a contour if you get a deeper shade, which really I should do that because I love just the formula of this. It's light to medium coverage, definitely buildable. And I just love the way this meshes into my skin. It's one of the few stick foundations slash concealers that I really, really enjoy. And you could definitely build up a little bit more. I'm actually gonna use the color linen for my concealer. I mean, look how easy and fast that was. It gives just enough coverage. I just like that it's just easy to use, to be honest. And combining it with this uh, great skin, it's like a match made in heaven. I do want quite minimal makeup. I have eight lipsticks to try on and I want that to stand out, nothing else. Let's take your linen for under my eyes and just use this as a concealer. I'm using the same brush. Again, Merit is very, it's supposed to be very easy, just pretty minimal skin-like products. And that's probably why I love them so much. I can even take my fingers and blend all this in around the nose. Just easy. I'm gonna add just a little bit of bronzer. I'm not even sure if I wanna add blush yet because I'm kinda thinking to put a little bit of the lipstick as a blush on just to see how it would look like. This is the bronze balm in the color Sane. I'm taking the same brush and blending this in. This is, by the way, the Merit, I think, number one brush. I use it for everything. Whenever I do such a simple, minimal makeup, I use this brush for bronzer, blush, foundation, concealer. It's just so good. This is very sheer, a little bit buildable. It's never too intense. And I really, really like it. 
feels very skin like okay i think i'm gonna leave the face here should i put a little highlighter i'm gonna put a little bit of a highlighter they have one of my favorite highlighters this is in bounce and it has a like slight pink shift tone to it it's nothing intense but i use my fingers to kind of tap it on Ooh, so so pretty i think i'm gonna keep the skin here and oh should we put something on the eyes a little bit oh yes so you guys know my love for the merit single shadows now i've discovered the color the cheddar this is that beautiful like neutrally brown i am gonna take a brush i'm gonna just swirl my brush in here and haphazardly <laughs> just put it on then i'm gonna take my finger and blend this out i should move this mirror there you go this is i would say top three products from merit i use this all the time all the time and this new color, well, it's new to me. Um, I I absolutely adore this one and Mid Century and Brune. Those three are definitely my favorite. They're all brown. <laughs> There's different undertones and depths, but I just find the undertones to be just so wearable and easy. It's never too much, you know. I do want to add just a little bit of Brune at my lash line. I'm gonna take just a small pencil brush and put this just a little bit of my lash line. I am wanting to give a little bit of definition, but not necessarily um, a defined line. You know, I just want a little bit more depth right here. You can even take the other end of the brush or a fluffier brush to blend this out that's all i want to do on the eyes now this packaging i won't lie some of them are easier to open some are harder because you have to click it in place uh, that way this won't dry out and sometimes it's just a little harder to open some i need to like work with them and some just open a little bit easier so if i were to mention one thing that i I like and dislike is that it's very hard to open once you click it in, but I also appreciate that because uh, I don't want this to dry out. Yeah, so give and take. Let me put my mascara on. I'm just gonna use their mascara. It's very simple, more natural, and I'm gonna come back and show you the lips. I finished the lashes. I put a gel brow through my brows, and that's about it. Okay, let's move on to the most exciting part. Here we have the Signature Lip Matte. It comes in eight different shades. I will show you the packaging real quick. Here is the packaging is very similar to their regular Signature Lip. Obviously the color is different. I love that they put the color of the lipstick here. I always love the Merit uh, Lip Packaging. I th just think it's so beautiful comes in eight different shades like i mentioned it is 26 dollars. it is a soft full matte lipstick it is a like their signature lip formula but more intense pigment um and it has it's packed with really good ingredients that soothe lips and lock in moisture while delivering full long lasting pigmented payoff now i can attest to that the, whenever I first swatched them, first of all, when I received them, it was like Christmas morning for me. I knew I would love them, okay? I love a matte lipsticks, but when I swatched them, I was just, I was just taken back at how thin, moisturizing they are. It is nothing like the other matte lipsticks that I have. It is just so comfortable and moisturizing and you'll see in just a minute here i swatched all of the colors and just from afar just looking at the undertones at the colors i mean look at this color right here it's just so good here are all the colors they're swatched from the lightest 
all the way to the most intense one and just look how they look on the skin even though they're matte they do not look dry at all i just want you guys to feel these they are so smooth okay let's try them on first we have classic and oh my gosh just look at the pigment the smoothness oh this is considered to be like a neutral nude color here is classic and i think the name is very fitting i think it's a beautiful everyday classic kind of a nude but without washing you out shade it has beautiful more neutral undertone it's just a go-to now married always does such a good job with the undertones and the colors that they came out with so i wasn't surprised to see all these beautiful colors but to me i think the shock was the formula they are so moisturizing i don't know how they made these matte yet so moisturizing it's kind of baffling to me next we have antibus and this is a soft peach let's put this on now, I am a lover of warmer, peachier nudes, so I feel like this is going to be a color that I wear every day. You can pair it with a lip liner if you want a little bit more depth, or even by itself, I don't think it washes you out. It's not a color that is too nude, that it can't be worn by itself. Next, we have Maison, and this is a mauve color. And I think a lot of people are going to love this color. You can also fade these out a little bit or just pat them in. I'm showing you full pigment, but you do not have to wear them full pigment. Like I'm patting this to take some of the color off to make it less intense. Mm. This color, I think this color is going to be probably the one that everybody wants to pick up. It's going to be the kind of pillow talk of <laughs> Merit. I think it is that perfect mauve pinky color that's not too intense and very flattering i love this one next one okay this color i feel like this is the most intense color but this is the equestrian i'm butchering that i'm sure and this is supposed to be a warm brown now this i warm on an instagram story now tell me this is not such a beautiful color amazing undertone i think it's a very wearable deeper brown and you can wear it by itself absolutely i feel like it applied really well it's beautiful on its own you could definitely pair it with a deeper lip liner brownier to make it a little bit more intense that's what i did on my instagram story and i had so many questions what's on your lips what's on your lips what's that lip product can you share your lip please um and i was like wait can i share i don't think i can it wasn't released and so i told everybody you'll see you'll wait, just wait and see and this was it this with a deeper brown liner i paired those two together and it was just stunning it also lasted so well i am gonna take just a little bit of my minimalist to clean up around here. moving on the color sunday and this is a pink color they describe it as pink but even this undertone okay let's put it on oh yes do you see the pigment and how it glides on there's no pulling no tugging it's so smooth so smooth now i am not even a pink person i don't wear a lot of pink lipsticks but this one with the undertone and the intensity that it has i would wear this i would absolutely wear this pink and i have been wearing it let me fade it out a little bit just to show you because realistically most of these i would probably dab them or like put them and then fade them with my finger it's just how i prefer to wear lipstick it just almost melts into your your lips oops i put a little bit of red right here or pink uh, i love the undertone of this pink i think it's beautiful moving on to my favorite shade of all which is court it's described as a warm brick look at this color 
so much. It reminds me a little bit of Aperitif, which was a limited edition and it was in their signature formula. It just gives me the same vibe. This color to me is so unique. It's definitely more on that red brighter side, but it's so wearable. I feel like the undertone makes it very, very wearable. You can definitely sheer it out a little bit as well. And this is the color that I'm gonna put on my cheeks. So I have whatever is left over from my lips and I'm just gonna bring it up on my cheeks just because I love this color so much. Let's see how it does as a blush. I haven't done this before. So, oh, yes. Take a little bit more. Probably get a brush as well and just put it on. But look how pretty. This is why I didn't want to put a blush on. Because I could just use this lipstick. Perfect. A perfect undertone. Oh, so pretty. And because the formula is just so smooth and creamy and uh, thin. I think it works so well as a blush. Look at that. I should have tried a few other colors as blushes because it just melts right into your skin. You can tell I'm really excited about this release. What do you guys think of this as a blush? Oh my gosh, I really like this as a blush. Before I move on, I want to swatch the color Aperitif. Okay, so Aperitif is a little bit brighter, a little bit more, not neon-y, but like you can tell that there's brightness to it. This is a little bit more muted. Um, but the tone, I feel like, I don't know, it reminds me of each other. I think Aperitif is definitely a little bit more summery, more bright. But this, even on the lips, it's not on the lips look almost a little bit more like Aperitif than itself. Okay, we have two reds left we can do this next we have vermilion which is a warm red oh my gosh i i don't think i've tried this color on oh my goodness so good i kind of messed that up this color is so much brighter than i thought it would be it's almost a neony okay let me just do a little bit of that oh my gosh will i regret that <laughs> let's see no, it just it just blends right in. This is perfect. I always love like that red cheek with the red lips. Okay, this is so different than I expected it to be. It's just brighter, more intense, absolutely beautiful. And the fact that I have no lip liner with any of these lipsticks and they go on so smooth and easy. I mean, oh, absolutely gorgeous. And here we have Vermilion, which is described as a warm red. I would describe it as a bright warm red. Last but not least, we have Power, which is a cool red. Yeah, you can definitely see the almost blue undertone in this. So here is the color Power, and it definitely has a, a cooler undertone, almost bluish, slightly berry-ish in person. I'm not sure how the camera will pick it up, but it definitely looks a little bit on the pinkier side of a red. Gosh, I love all these undertones that they came out with. Every single color, I think it's unique, a little different than when you what you find. The formula is incredibly smooth. And even though they're intense, I feel like they're still wearable, you know? I'm going to take a little bit of this off to blur it out. I decided to end with the color Court just because I adore this color. I really like the way it looks on the lips, on the cheeks. It was really pretty. And I just find it a little bit more interesting. So, um... My thoughts on this release, as you can tell, I am over the moon with this release. I think this is one of the best matte lipsticks in the market. Um, I, if you have anything that's similar to this formula, let me know because I was swatching all around here and I could not find a formula like this. Thin, moisturizing, it's kind of 
goes on extremely smooth yet it's pigmented i love the colors the undertones i just love everything about this i just need more colors that's my only negative that i want even more colors more nudes even deeper uh, colors and i'm sure that they're gonna bring more but i think this is a great um i know first release of these lipsticks and yeah, I really truly don't have anything negative to say about the formula, the packaging, the colors. Um, the wear time was great. It wasn't like all day because these are not transfer proof. So if you eat something super oily, it will transfer and you may have to reapply. But because they set down they go on super moisturizing and they kind of set down they never get dry whatsoever um you know they are much more long lasting than the signature lip just because these are glossier uh and these all have that matte finish i want to hear your thoughts on this new release what are your thoughts i will link everything that i've used in this video in the description box below thank you again to married for working with me again it's just such an honor and just to be gifted these lipsticks and to be have time to test them out and wear them it's so helpful i think for you guys for me it gives me a better understanding of what i think about a product and that's it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next video bye